Metal formed as a deep hole in the ground through volcanic activity and tectonic activity in the, in the Rhine Valley. And um, so it was a deep lake, basically, which gradually filled up with sediment. And because it was deep, um, it was anoxic. There wasn't any oxygen there. And uh, so there were no scavengers living in the lake. So when these, these animals died and fell in and sank, uh, they were not scavenged. Metal is a brilliant site because of the complete preservation of, it, of its mammals. We have little insectivores, uh, some rodents, and we also have a, a bat, which is on display in the galleries. The primates typically have been incomplete, uh, and have been frustratingly so. And we have a cast here of, of one of them, which is just the hindquarters. And of course, obviously that sets up problems trying to work out what uh, what skull or what dentition it belongs to. So this, um, this new fossil actually um, overcomes all these problems. Not only is it a complete skeleton, but it also has impressions of the fur, uh, the gut contents, which tells us what its last meal was. It's very primitive, this new fossil. It belongs to an extinct group of primates called adipoids, so one mustn't think of looking for characteristics that you find in apes or monkeys today. Uh, it would look generally much more like a lemur, uh, but probably with a rather shorter face than lemurs, and rather shorter hind legs. Lemurs have characteristics which this fossil lacks. Um, so they have, for instance, a, a tooth comb in the lower, lower jaw, so in fact, the canine and incisors are all grouped together at the front and, and they're procumbent, they stick out, and um, they're a specialization which this fossil does not have. But on the other hand, it does have some features which are present in, in all other primates. And those other primates are called haplorines. And haplorines include tarsiers, monkeys, apes, and humans. One feature which it shares with haplorines is the steepness of the outer side of the ankle bone. Um, ankle bones are very important because they're associated with locomotion in the trees. And of course all these animals were arboreal. There's also characters of the, of the lower jaw which deepens uh, forwards, probably because it's housing uh, rather erect uh, canines unlike the, unlike the lemurs. One can't call this fossil a direct ancestor of any of these other haplorines that we know of, but uh, because it's so complete, it tells us so much about this stem group uh, of the adipoids, which um, are showing these, these initial trends towards um, haplorines. I guess the key change in relationships shown by this new fossil is that adipoids are no longer stem lemurs, they're stem haplorines. It's a brilliant specimen and it means that we, we have all the bones of that particular primate, so we know what it's like. Previously we, we didn't have that knowledge because we only had fragmentary stuff. So we can compare our other material, our less well-preserved material with this and we can get a, a much better idea of, of the early evolution of primates.